Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. And today I wanted to show you um, a quick tip. This is something I have only done this once. I've only actually ever really felt like I needed to do it this once. I've known about this for a little while, but I finally tried it. Uh, it's a tip that uh, I learned indirectly. I believe the source of it is a guy named Mark Warren who repairs here in North Carolina. If you've got a silver plated horn that is just unbelievably dirty and tarnished and gross. I mean, this was a Super Action 80 that... Um, I think still had most of its original pads in it and like didn't look like it had ever been cleaned and the stuff that was on it was so unbelievably thick. My normal polishing regime, which I'll link in the description below, just wasn't making a dent. Um, now I rarely ever use it, but this stuff is probably like the strongest silver polish that I will ever use. I use it very sparingly. This tube, I've probably used about a third of it uh, in this project but I've had this tube for probably 10 years, uh, just to give you an idea. So the tip is to take this stuff, flits, and a electric toothbrush, and you put it on there and scrub. And you can get in all the nooks and crannies pretty well. And then a regular polishing cloth I'm not going to get like all the edges right there right now, but you end up with silver. Now, this is a very aggressive polish. It's pretty um, abrasive. So you can probably see there's like some you know scratching there. So this will need polished one more time to get, hey, look, there's me. Uh, you, this will need polished one more time to get actually flat. But you can see this is before cleaning. You can see the results. So this has been uh, polished with flits and a toothbrush and then polished with a polish cloth and then I will wash this and probably give it one more polish we'll see um, I'm not trying to make work uh, but if it needs it I'll do it but that is a tip for extremely tarnished silver uh, if you do this by default you're going to wear away the silver if you do it on a horn that has thin plating you're going to wear away the plating but if you've got like this Super Action 80 has extremely thick plating, extremely durable, whatever Selmer's version is of silver is like really durable. Um, I'm not sure that I would use this on like anything that didn't absolutely need it. Um, but this really, really worked great. And these like, you know, cheap electric toothbrushes, you can get them for like 20, 30 bucks seems to do the job, job just fine. You don't have to get a high end one. But uh, that really, really helped me out with this project. Um, and it's like the body of the horn. I did that too. And I think I've probably got one more polish left on it. But this was, I mean, it was just absolutely totally encrusted with stuff that felt thick enough that I should have been able to like scrape it off with a fingernail, but it was just rock hard uh, and I couldn't do it. So, but this was an almost magical uh, solution to that problem. It worked very, very quickly without like, I mean, you know, quickly being relative, right? I'm probably into my fourth hour <laughs> of polishing on this. And that's after cleaning it, right? So soaking it, uh, you know, soap and water, degreaser, everything. It has to be like degreased before you do this. Um, so including all that, I'm probably like in my seventh or eighth hour of this project. But once I finish polishing, I'll actually be into like getting an overhaul done. Um, so compared to what it would have taken, this was a real time saver when it comes to extremely, extremely, uh, rough, encrusted, hardened tarnish. So hopefully you find that helpful, useful, and informative. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. Thanks for watching.